Hello and welcome to Altman G Score Plus Android application. This application has been developed and enhanced in collaboration with Professor Edward Altman of New York University's Leatherstown School of Business to make informed corporate decisions, manage account receivables more effectively, select corporate equities and debt securities identify and manage corporate defaults or turnarounds. My name is Sribat Sadas. I am the CEO of Business Compass LLC. I have the great pleasure of walking you through the functionalities of this application. Key features. Analyze G, G prime and G double prime scores for US public manufacturing firms for US private manufacturing firms for non-manufacturing and foreign firms to generate bond rating equivalent BRE, understand percentile ranking of the firm within and across manufacturing and non-manufacturing sectors, obtain probability of default PD, analyze trends over time, process data file, and share the results through email. So now, the main menu, the application primer, meet the pioneer, analyze, process data file, settings, references, help, email, call, related products, and about us. Let's go through each of them. Primer. Professor has developed a primer on this app. So this primer is available with the application as well as on our website which is altmangscoreplus.com. Meet the Pioneer. This describes Professor's life's work and this also contains a short video about the collaboration on this new application. And I hope that you'll find this very useful. Okay. All right, so next is analyze. This is where you would be uh, spending bulk of your time. So we ask you three sets of questions, public, private, manufacturing, non-manufacturing, US, foreign, and depending upon your response, we'll drill down to G, G prime, or G double prime score models. So now we selected public, manufacturing, and US. Let's submit. So it drills down, and it brings us to the input of, um, tab. Here we see current assets, current liabilities, return earning, EBIT earnings before interest and taxes, sales, book value of liabilities, shares outstanding, share price, total assets, intangible assets. Then we have a drop down to select industry. And you'll see here a calculator button on the right. If you click on that button, it actually brings a calculator on board and you can actually perform arithmetic operations using this calculator. So then at the bottom you will see add, clear, clear all. If you are going to analyze trend and enter data for multiple years, um, the add button will help. So you keep on adding data sets and then if you just press clear, it will clear up everything from the screen. If you clear all, then it will clear the data you have added earlier for trend analysis as well as it will reset the industry. So let's take a look at the industry drop down. What we have is we have the various options here. So we selected industrial and commercial. And there are a few things about uh, the data itself. So in case you have networking capital, so please enter that value into current assets and zero in current liabilities. Um, the networking capital, return earning, and EBIT, this, these three fields can contain negative values. And the total asset 
um, less intangible assets cannot be zero. And here, if uh, intangible asset is supplied, then the net total tangible assets will be used for calculation. If intangible assets is not available or not provided, then total assets will be used to calculate the scores. Um, as far as the units is concerned, the share price need to be in absolute numbers. The rest of the units can be expressed in thousands or millions, but they all need to be on the same unit. So now uh, we have um, entered the data, uh, we have selected the industry, now let's take a look at the summary. What we have here is we have a G-score, we have percentile within the industrial and commercial sector, we have percentile within all manufacturing sector, and then the bond rating equivalent. By clicking on this email button, the um, results will be emailed to you. Uh, they, you will receive a attached file and the file will be in the tably limited format and that file can be imported into a Excel spreadsheet for further calculations. Similarly, on the PD we have, uh, this is the probability of default. Um, there are two sections. The first section is for existing bonds and loans and the second section is for new bond, new bond issues and loans. So we present 1 to 10 years of probability of default um, into the future. So now, let us say we are going to analyze uh, some trend. So let's, uh, um, for sake of simplicity, say, so we are going to only change uh, one parameter, so same industry. What we'll do is we'll add that and then uh, we'll change back to whatever it was earlier. This is be our second record. Say we want to add another record. So we added basically three records. Now we want to analyze the trends. So this is how the scores look like. This is how the percentile within the industry look like. This is the percentile within all manufacturing sectors that look like bond rating equivalent and then probability of default. Uh, the first row is for the first data set, second row is for the second data set, third row is the for the third data set. And uh, okay. So now let us go to a private uh, US manufacturing company. So this will drill us down to the G prime model. So here we see so if it has a negative value written running is zero. So now um, this is within the electronic and transportation sector and this is the G prime score and bond the percentiles within the industry, percentile across all manufacturing sectors and bond rating equivalent. Again you can email the results then the probability of default here we have uh, on the first section is for existing bonds and loans and second section is for the new bond issue and loans. Okay, so now let us consider a public foreign uh, manufacturing firm. In this case, uh, we have entered the data, this is within the petroleum sector and this is the G double prime score, then percentile within the petroleum sector, percentile within all manufacturing sectors, bond rating equivalent, and then probability of default. First section again is for existing bonds and loans. Second section is for new bond issues and loans. Now with this, we cover how to enter the data from the screen and analyze G, G prime and G double prime scores for US public manufacturing firms, private uh, US manufacturing firms, non-manufacturing and foreign firms. Okay, now let us take a look at the process data file. What this does, this allows the data that has been uploaded to our website to be downloaded from the application and to be processed. So this essentially uh, is just a lot of repetitive typing so most likely you will have the data in the spreadsheets so that 
spreadsheet can be saved as a CSV file or comma separated value file then the CSV file can be uploaded to our website altmangscoreplus.com using the file upload tab and then from within the application the file names can be retrieved and the file contents can be retrieved. Let's fetch all the file names that we have loaded. So here this is for a company, recent company. So what we are seeing is okay, this is the these are the scores, percentile within the industry. This is uh, percentage within all manufacturing sectors, BRE. Okay. All right. So now, here we have um, the probability of default. First section is for existing bonds and loans, and second section is for the new issues and loans. So now let's take a look at the setting. What it allows us to do, it allows us to create a login, change password, recover password, and change data sharing options. So create a login. What it does, it allows to create a login and password from within the application. This login and password can be used at uh, altmangscoreplus.com website you on the file upload tab to upload the CSV files onto the website and then in the process data file menu on the application the files can be retrieved file contents can be retrieved and processed so now let us say we are going to create a test login Okay, then done. We hit submit. So login creator. What will happen? You will receive an email to confirm. Once you confirm that, then you will be able to upload the file. So many times we need to change the password. In this case, with the user ID, you have the old password, new password. Confirm the new password, then you can actually. Uh, change the password. Recover password in case you forget the password. This allows you to recover the password. Change data sharing options. Uh, we we'll ask for your permission to share private comp form data with us so that we can improve the percentile. In case you would like to share with us, I would appreciate. You can select yes or if you have already selected data sharing option as yes you can turn it off by saying no okay and then uh, references uh, this is a book that professor has authored on corporate default so this is uh, very informative uh, email help displays a video of the application um, how to use the application uh, email in case you'd like to write to us uh, click on email in case you'd like to call us please click on the call button related products it basically displays all the products that business compass has uh, built and published uh, on the Android marketplace and then about us that takes you to our website with this I would like to thank you very much for your valuable time. Uh, please visit us at altmangscoreplus.com. I hope that you will find this application useful. In case you would like to send us some suggestions or if you have any questions or comments, kindly write to us. Thank you very much.